What is it that the tribunal investigating suspended Deputy Chief Justice Nancy Barraza trying to hide? Better yet, why is the tribunal knowingly raising the possibility of a challenge on what it comes up with after completion of the investigation? Following Nancy Barraza's request to hold the tribunal behind closed doors, Rebecca Kirubo's lawyers were barred from attending the hearing, raising concern on how prepared Ms. Kirubo is to handle the case without proper representation. Our preparations have not been adequate, and for obvious reasons, we do not know what is happening inside the tribunal. The exclusion of Kerubo's lawyer by the tribunal has already been protested by the Law Society of Kenya, which termed the action as unconstitutional and illegal. Article 50 of the Constitution is very clear on the right of a victim to seek legal representation. Um, and uh, that right uh, cannot be at any time be surrendered. Incidentally, we are not even blaming Nancy. No, 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 no. We are blaming the tribunal. At KICC's Shimba Hills Hall, the tribunal's proceedings continued away from the glare of the media and the public. A notice to the public and members of the press reiterating that it is within the rights of the suspended Deputy Chief Justice to have a private tribunal. It did not, however, specify the reasons behind the exclusion of Kerubo's lawyers in the matter. Baraza enjoys the full backing of her legal team, an illustration maybe of George Orwell's Animal Farm, where some animals are more equal than others. She may be overwhelmed. We have a situation where she's facing three lawyers and also she's alone. Keribo's uneasiness as she went into the tribunal perhaps bearing out her lawyer's concerns. She seemed upset as she left the proceedings but was unwilling to voice her thoughts. This then, an exchange of documents between the two parties. It however does not answer the question why this is carrying on as such. Ideally, we are all equal before the law. However, is it possible for one's social standing to interfere with the aspect of equality? Charity Waweru for News at 8.